Today I'm going to learn how to create these speed lines tunnel effect in Blender. So let's see. Let's hit the camera, the light, and stay with the camera. Now let's create a cylinder that will be the object that will have the texture. Now let's open this tab and let's make it longer, something like this, for example. And let's add more vertices, more resolution. So let's increase this. And really important, let's open this cylinder. So here, select nothing. And now let's rotate it in this axis, in the right one. So here, we need to write 90 degrees. And I'm going to make it a bit longer and leave it like that. Perfect. Now, we need to move the camera here. So let's select the camera, press N, select 0, and let's select 90 degrees, 0, 90 degrees. And let's move it in this axis. So let's move this until we see the camera in front of the cylinder. And now, if you press 0, you can see the inside of the cylinder. I recommend you to move the camera until you reach this edge. So something like that. Try to not show the outside. So like this. Now I'm going to hide the 3D cursor because I don't like to see it. So I'm going to click here and here. And now I want to close this cylinder to not see this hole. So let's press 0 and let's select this cylinder and let's go to edit mode. And let's go to the opposite side of the camera, so this hole. And let's select this ring of edges. So we need to select the edge tool, click outside to not click anything, and now make a zoom and try to click one edge. I recommend you to press Alt and click one edge. So if you click with Alt, you're going to select all the edge of this hole. And now if you press S, you can scale this hole. And if you press 0, you're going to close the hole and press intro to confirm. And now let's come back to object mode. And if we press 0 to see the camera, we can see that the hole is closed. Perfect. Now let's select material view, press N to hide this, and let's start with the material. So let's open a new tab, and let's select shade editor. Let's press N to hide this and create a new material. Now I'm going to drag this and add a noise texture and connect it here. We can see already the texture, but we need to add more contrast. So let's add here color drum. And with this, we can make more contrast in the texture. And also we can invert the colors. I'm going to leave it like that. And what I want now is to move this texture in the cylinder. So we need to set this and remember to have the node triangle enabled in add-ons and press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. Now we are going to use UV. Why? We could just animate this, but I want to change this and not have this effect. So that's why I'm going to use UV. And now if we move this, you can see that we can stretch these lines. So we can have a better effect. And you can play with this axis, for example, with X to add more lines or less. And with this, to have this texture or to leave it like that if it's really close to zero to have really long lines. I'm going to select something, for example, like this. And I don't want so many lines, so I'm going to decrease this, maybe something like that. And actually, I'm going to decrease the contrast. So we see less lines. Let me try to see how it looks like. Maybe something like that. And remember, in this texture, you can play with the features to get different patterns, to add more lines, to have more detail, for example, as you can see here, without, with, to create different patterns. If you want more distortion, like a brush, just play with these options, but I'm going to leave it, for example, something like that. Now what I want is to change the color. So I'm going to select, for example, this color. And if you want to make it glow, so first of all, let's select the render view. We need to add here, after color RAM, an emission. And now it's going to make this texture emit light. So if we increase this, you can see that this is getting more white. So let's go to render and select bloom to see the glow. And I'm going to make the background dark. So I don't get this track. Actually, if you want to focus only inside of the frame, select the camera, go here, and in viewport display, 
increase this. So it's going to make everything that is out of the frame black. Now let's select this to see again this panel. If you want to lose this panel, you can click here to lock this panel. And now to animate this, the only thing we have to do is to animate the Y. So if you click and drag, you will see that this is moving. To make it slow, click and drag with Shift. And you will see that now we can move this pattern. If you make it positive, it goes backwards to the background. If you make it negative, you make it go to the camera. So to animate this, what we're going to do is to write an expression. Let's write this symbol and frame slash. And now let's write, for example, minus, remember, because we won't go to the camera, 50 frames. So that means that every second is going to increase 50 frames. And now if we press spacebar, we have this animation. If it's too fast, what you can do is to add more frames. For example, something like that. Or you can play with this to see different patterns. Maybe here you can add more scale. I don't know, however you want. This is the best part that you can play and achieve the pattern that you prefer. I think I like this one. And if you want to add more lines of different colors, what you can do is basically to add here a mix shader. And let's connect this here. And in the second shader, let's duplicate this. Shift D and connect it here. Let's select another color. For example, I don't know, this one. And now we have the same line in the same position. So we need to change something. For example, we could change this and just start seeing both lines. Or we could, for example, I don't know, change this maybe, or maybe this. As you can see, whatever you change, you are going to make a different pattern. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to increase this and here too. And what I'm going to do is to make this color more red, maybe something like that. And when we copy, we lose the expression. So if you want to make this, we need to add again an expression. So let's add frame. And right now I'm going to change the velocity. For example, 30 frames. So the red one is going faster and the blue one is going slower. So we created like this effect that we're traveling in the space. If you want to make something slower, remember, just increase this. And for example, let's select 300. So now the red ones will go as lower than the blue ones. And remember, in any moment, you can play with these features to try to see different patterns. At the end, I have been changing the features and I made this one in 300 and this one slower in 500. And I changed some features here, here and here. Not too much, just playing around. And I got this effect. And remember here, you have the mix shader where you can show one color only or the other one. So if you want, only use one color. But remember, you have the option to show both at the same time or just do a little mix. So if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.